Deaths from widespread flooding in Pakistan have passed 1,000 since mid-June, officials have said, as a minister called the country's deadly monsoon season a serious climate catastrophe. Flash flooding from the heavy rains has washed away villages and crops as soldiers and rescue workers evacuated stranded residents to the safety of relief camps and provided food to thousands of displaced Pakistanis. Pakistan's National Disaster Management Authority said the death toll from the monsoon rains had reached 1,033, with 119 killed in the previous 24 hours. It said this year's floods were comparable to 2010, the worst on record, when more than 2,000 people died and nearly a fifth of the country was underwater. Sherry Raymond, a Pakistani senator and the country's top climate official, said in a video posted on Twitter that Pakistan was experiencing a serious climate catastrophe, one of the hardest in the decade. We are at the moment at the ground zero of the front line of extreme weather events, in an unrelenting cascade of heat waves, forest fires, flash floods, multiple glacial lake outbursts, flood events, and now the monster monsoon of the decade is wreaking non-stop havoc throughout the country, she said. The on-camera statement was retweeted by the country's ambassador to the European Union. The unprecedented monsoon season has affected more than 33 million people, one in seven Pakistanis, across all four of the country's provinces. Nearly 300,000 homes have been destroyed, numerous roads rendered impassable and electricity outages have been widespread. Raymond told Turkish news outlet TRT World that by the time the rains recede, we could well have one-fourth or one-third of Pakistan underwater. Flooding from the Swat River overnight affected northwestern Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province, where tens of thousands of people, especially in the Charsada and Nashara districts, have been evacuated from their homes to relief camps set up in government buildings. Officials warn torrents of water are expected to reach the southern Sindh province in the next few days, adding misery to millions already affected by the floods, with a fresh deluge from swollen rivers in the north. The annual monsoon is essential for irrigating crops and replenishing lakes and dams across the Indian subcontinent, but it also brings destruction. Thousands of people living near flood swollen rivers in Pakistan's north were ordered to evacuate from danger zones, but army helicopters and rescuers were still plucking stranded residents to safety. Many rivers in the area, a picturesque tourist destination of rugged mountains and valleys, have burst their banks, demolishing scores of buildings including a 150-room hotel that crumbled into a raging torrent. Officials say Pakistan is unfairly bearing the consequences of irresponsible environmental practices elsewhere in the world. The country is eighth on NGO Germanwatch's Global Climate Risk Index, a list of countries deemed most vulnerable to extreme weather caused by climate change.